Hey guys, it's going Josh here. So today we're going to talk about Earth, and in particular we're going to talk about why Earth seems to be so important to the Transformers universe. First and foremost, there's a few theories. We have basically four main theories. So I'm going to throw one out of the way right immediately because it's Atlas, and if you guys don't know who Atlas is, basically it's Earth's kind of Transformer, if that makes any sense. So Earth basically, and the name kind of implies it, Atlas, but the Transformer is basically the planet Earth. Um, Basically, this is like a kind of one-off transformer, so I really doubt they'll do it. But most likely what they'll do is the other three theories. The first one being regarding Unicron, the second one being regarding the creators, and the third one being regarding Optimus Prime, and I'll get into that later. Or the Primes in general, and I'll get I'll get into that later. So let's get into the Unicron theory. So Unicron theory basically goes, you know, in certain incarnations of Transformers, they did this in the Transformers Prime cartoon also. Uh, basically, Earth is a shell for Unicron, and if you don't know who Unicron is, he's basically think like kind of like the devil in Transformers medium, uh, or mythology, I should say. Uh, ba basically, the opposite of Primus. So Primus is like all the good and all this, you know, awesomeness, and you, you have Unicron, who's basically like the opposite, you know, the evil stuff like that. Um, and basically, Unicron has Earth as a shell. Which is, you know, in many incarnations, why Transformers seem to be attracted to Earth. Because just as they're attracted to, you know, Primus and all that stuff, they're also attracted to Unicron. I mean, it's just a very kind of primal uh, kind of attraction that they have, just due to the fact that these are kind of like their top ancestors. Even though Primus is technically the actual ancestor, but that's a different that's a different conversation for a different video. Um, so that's one theory. And if they actually do go this route, I'd be interested in seeing. I doubt they'll go this route. I think Unicron is going to be its own separate thing from Earth, but I think it would be cool if they did try finding a way uh, to tie it in because it would obviously be the easiest and most direct way of connecting Cybertron slash Primus to Unicron slash Earth and why that connection seems so prevalent within the series. Now, the second one I would mentioned is the creators. So we know the creators and the Transformers, at least for the movie universe, we know the creators came to Earth, you know, kind of millions of years ago during the dinosaur time period. Um, presumably that's when they made some, you know, Dinobots. Also, we know that they left a lot of Transformium there also, which was a big thing in the last Transformers movie, which I think was Age of Extinction, if I remember that correctly. Yes, it was Age of Extinction also. We also know that the Primes, uh, the Dynasty of Primes came also to Earth to kind of harvest you know the sun and stuff like that and it didn't work um, so Earth seems kind of special in multiple ways and I think that definitely the creators might have had an influence I think maybe the creators left something here besides obviously Transformium that is attracting you know Cybertronians and Cybertronian technology because I mean the Allspark got sent here you know the object that you know Merlin has that supposedly conceived Cybertron was sent here I mean, Megatron ended up here even though he was following the Allspark. I mean, it's just like tons of Transformers related things keep coming back to Earth over and over and over again. And there has to be some reasoning for it. So I'd be pretty down for like the creators maybe being responsible for it. And that'd make a lot of sense because it looks like the creators are going to have a lot more of an important role as you know the series goes along in their kind of new trilogy phase, uh, their new kind of pod of movies, so to speak. And the third one, which is kind of more brief, is that not that it's a coincidence but that it's the primes so i had a theory that maybe when the primes came to harvest the earth they basically kind of left an imprint on earth because they obviously didn't finish the process so i had a theory that maybe they left an imprint on the earth kind of like a signal from the earth to cybertron basically um which just it may be accidental but maybe it attracts the cybertronians just a theory i doubt this one is actually true but I thought I'd throw it out there as kind of like a left field one for you guys. So comment below your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think it is? And I'll see you guys later.